Hello, and welcome to the video for How Do I Do? Blueprint to Blueprint Communication. This video is intended to show you how you communicate between blueprints, perhaps accessing variables, or calling functions. You will need to understand the child to parent relationship as well as how to cast. For our example, we have a bad pickup object I've created that is pretty generic. We are going to create a new function and we're going to call it deal damage. For our example, this will be fairly generic. We are just simply going to update the damage variable on our user interface. So if deal damage is called, what we need to do is we need to get our user interface and then we need to modify the value that is inside of it. Now if we go into our user interface, down here under health, we actually have this set up as health value, which is bound to a function itself called health value, which returns this player health integer. So anytime the player health integer is changed, the health value on the screen will update. So the thing we need to do is we need to get a hold of our user interface and then we need to get a hold of our player health and then we need to change it. Now our user interface is created inside of our third person character when we create the third person begin play. When we begin play we create our user interface, we create a variable called UI widget and then we add our user interface widget to the viewport. So now we need to be able to get a hold of this variable from our bad pickup. So how do we do that? Well, let's get our player character. Now our player character is not generic. Our player character is called TPPC casting child parent. So we need to take our player character, cast it to our exact type of object. Once we have this as the object, we can then get our UI widget. This will now get us a reference to our UI widget. Now that we have our UI widget, we need to actually do something. Well, we need to get the value of the player health. So we need to get the player health. And what are we going to do to the player health? Well, let's go ahead and just subtract 10. So we'll go ahead and we will minus and we'll minus 10 from the player health. Now, Let's correct that error. We don't want 101. Now the issue is we still need to go ahead and do something. Well, we still need to set the player health now. So let's drag off of our widget again. And we're going to go ahead and set the player health this time. And we'll move it over here. And we're going to set our player health to that value. So we'll connect it. And we'll go ahead and do this. So it's a little, looks a little funky right now, but there we go. What we're going to do here is when we call deal damage, we will get our player character, cast it to what it actually is instead of the generic player character. From that, since we have a reference to the UI widget, we get that. Then, since we have the UI widget, we get a reference to the player health. Then we get that player health, subtract 10, and then we set the player health to our new value, which is the old player health minus 10. So, as you can see from there, we have communicated with both our player character, which will be in the user interface as well as our user interface widget itself which is a reference from our player character. Now we still have an issue because we actually can't call deal damage yet so let's go back to our player and find where we have it down here and this is the event overlap. Anytime we overlap like with the bad pickup we are going to fire this event. So we need to cast to bad pickup because we only want bad pickup to do this for our example. And then as bad pickup, we're gonna go ahead and what did we call our function? We called it deal damage. So we're gonna go ahead and deal damage. And you notice the target is bad pickup and we're gonna go ahead and deal damage. Now, let's say for example, this was not bad pickup. Let's say for example, this was good pickup. Well, if we cast to good pickup and as good pickup we try to do deal damage you'll notice it doesn't exist good pickup does not have the function deal damage therefore it cannot deal damage that is why we need to be able to cast because
bad pickup has deal damage, and then we call deal damage on bad pickup. So if this worked, and we play, we should lose health when we walk over the red one, and we do. You'll notice every time we walk into it, it is communicating. We have the player communicating to the object. The object is communicating to the user interface, and everything is working exactly as expected. That is an example of blueprint to blueprint communication.